I'm not sure what the play was, but it ended up in the hands of Jamal Franklin, who hit the three-pointer from the top of the key as time expired, and he joins us now on Extra Sports 1360. Jamal, that wasn't what was designed, was it? How, how was that supposed to go? Uh, the play was exactly designed how it was. It was for me to get to the rack, but uh, boys did a good job defending me and trapped me at the top of the key, which made me force me to take a three-pointer. So you were up there. You knew time was running out. You knew you had to get a shot up, but you were double covered. How difficult was it to even get that shot off? Uh, so luckily, it was the end of the game, tie games. Uh, they double teamed me, but uh, when you get when you're getting double teamed at the end, a lot of teams don't like to play that close because they don't want to foul you. So they gave me they uh, didn't pressure me as much as they did in the first half. So it gave me a lot of space to get my shot off. I must say, you didn't look nervous. Did you feel at all nervous, Jamal? There at the end with your hands on the ball and about three seconds to go. Oh, no, 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 I can't be nervous. When I step on the court, I don't plan on being nervous every time I play. That's just coming from a background I came from. How do you do that? I mean, t talk about that, the background that you came from and how that affects your mentality on the court. Oh, I was just raised from a single parent, Felicia Price. Uh, never had a father in my life, so everything has always been tough for me. So when I am uh, step on the court, I'm just out there playing every day for to make it better for my mom and my family and just uh, looking forward to just be better. And she always taught me, don't never let anybody bully or be scared of nobody but Jesus. So the only person that I, uh, I will only be scared of is Jesus, the man above that I praise. We're talking to the Mountain West Conference Player of the Year. He just hit a three-pointer at the buzzer to lift the Aztecs past Boise State in the first round of the Mountain West Conference Tournament. By the way, congratulations on that honor the other day, Jamal. That's pretty impressive for a sophomore. You couldn't have seen that coming at the start of the season, or maybe you did. I know you're a confident guy. Uh, no, I didn't see me getting a player year at the start of the season, but a uh, blessing of God, I just worked real hard, and the hard work pays off, and I don't uh, plan on being satisfied with my awards. I plan on making this the start of my beginning of my road to success. Okay, I know you and Chase and uh, James uh, all had 37-plus minutes in this game. Uh, Tim sat out a little bit in the second half, but now you guys got to play again at 6 o'clock tomorrow. How difficult is that turnaround going to be against either TCU or Colorado State? Uh, it should be a difficult just because they're good, two good teams, but I don't feel that uh, us playing 37 minutes, 38 minutes uh, affects our body. We got a lot of time to recruit. Thank you that we played at 12, so it gives us a lot of time to just watch and relax and just get ready and get prepared to play against TCU at Colorado State. What's the plan? Are you going to just sit in the stands and watch this one? Or are you going to go relax at a hotel, watch it on TV? What's the plan here in the next couple hours? Uh, we plan on watching them for the first half of uh, the game, and then we're probably going to head to the hotel and just finish watching it up there and just find out at the end of the thing and get back to the roof, start watching the film the team we got to prepare for at play 6 o'clock. Well, Jamal, uh, pleasure talking to you. Again, congratulations on the big shot. We really enjoy watching it. So fun to watch you play some basketball, and good luck tomorrow against uh, either Colorado State or TCU. Thank you. I appreciate it, Barry. Thanks for having me. All right, that is Jamal Franklin.